Welcome to the Structure Studio's online video series. This video will explain GIS, Geographic Information System. For a small cost per address, search an online database for the property. GIS includes surveyed terrain data, as well as aerial overhead imagery taken by plane, not satellite, to create high quality images. GIS is loaded in Stage 1 Project Information. Click the GIS Image button in the panel to open the search window. Type in the address of the property. For large properties, move the pen to center on the area you're designing. Once the address is verified, press Next to preview the image. You can also see the pixel quality of the image and date captured. It's important to verify the image, especially when working in new developments. You can also display the parcel line and download four angled views of the property. These images will be saved to the project's media folder. Next, press Download Now to purchase the data. Each address costs one credit. GIS credits can be purchased one at a time or in discounted bundles. The aerial image and terrain data are now loaded in the file. GIS is automatically set to scale, so measurements are accurate. View the terrain data in Stage 4 Terrain. You'll see the automatic topography lines in both 2D and 3D. Before drawing, let's review the GIS image controls. Hide or display the GIS image under the Hide Unhide menu. Or use the keyboard shortcut Shift plus B. You can even load a separate background image, displaying both the background and GIS for the project. Adjust the opacity of the GIS image or background image to help view both at the same time. To remove the GIS image, click the trash can. This will remove the image from the grid, but keep the terrain data. To reload the GIS image, you can search the same address again for free for one year with your CD key. GIS imports with north at the top of the grid. We recommend rotating the image to draw with straight lines. Click Rotate and simply click and drag to rotate the image. Make sure your angle snap is set to None to have total freedom of movement. Zoom in to verify the image is rotated at the correct angle. Click Pan GIS to align the image to the grid. Click Generate Terrain Data at any time to align the terrain to the image. Let's start designing. The first step is to create the client's home in Stage 2 House. Use the Line tool to point and click to plot the dimensions. Thanks to GIS, simply trace the roofline of the house using the overhead image. Once done, click the 3D button at the top of the screen. In 3D, our house is adjusted to the terrain because auto elevation is on. If the property has a grade, the house may be lifted out of the ground. Manually adjust the elevation until the house is settled on the terrain. If needed, adjust the height of the house to compensate for the lower elevation. Our goal is to get the client emotionally invested in their project. Make the 3D home look just like their real home. Use the angled images to see the details of the house. Open the media viewer to see the images. Double click the image to open it and zoom in on the property. Use these images to review the property, the neighbors' homes, and the size and location of existing trees, all without having to drive to the client's property. Next, we'll add the fence around the property in the Walls and Fences stage. Use the Line tool to point and click to create the wall or fence. Thanks to GIS, we simply follow the yellow property line. Use the Measure Guide to verify the line is the correct distance from the house. Since GIS imagery is taken by plane, not satellite, the images have a high level of detail. Each pixel represents one inch, as we saw in the search results. To illustrate, let's verify the front walkway. We measured this sidewalk when we visited the property. Using the pixels as our reference point, zoom into the area and activate the measure tool. Verify the width matches the dimensions recorded in the field. Great! This gives us confidence the project is accurate. The GIS image will also appear on your construction plans. In Markup, 
calculate access areas, easements, utility lines, or other important information. In Layout, add the image to your plans to print or export. This completes instruction on GIS. Thanks for watching. For more information, please visit structurestudios.com/help.